Namaskar, I am Shivani and a new postcard has arrived. This one comes from Rajasthan. The Dilwara temples or Delwada temples are a group of Swetambar Jain temples located around two and a half kilometers from the Mount Abu settlement in Sirohi district, Rajasthan's only hill station. The earliest temples were built by Bhima I and supposedly designed or at least financed by Vastupala, Jain minister of Dholka. They date between the 11th and 16th centuries, forming some of the most famous monuments in the style of Maru Gurjar architecture, famous for the use of a very pure white marble and intricate marble carvings. Jainism is one of the three most ancient religions of India with roots that go back to at least the mid 1st century BCE. Today it is still an integral part of Indian culture. Jainism teaches that the path to enlightenment is through non-violence and reducing harm to living things including plants and animals as much as possible. Like Hindus and Buddhists, Jains believe in reincarnation. This cycle of birth, death and rebirth is determined by one's karma. Today, a sliver of India's population around 0.4% identifies as Jain, making it the smallest of the country's six major religious groups after Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Sikhism and Buddhism. Jains mostly live in Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh, However, the influence of Jainism has been far greater on the Indian population than these numbers suggest. Jain doctrine teaches that Jainism has always existed and will always exist. Like most ancient Indian religions, Jainism has its root in the Indus Valley civilization, reflecting native spirituality. The Dilwara temples are one of the most famous Jain temples. They are a pilgrimage place for Jains and a significant general tourist attraction. Although Jains built many temples at other places in Rajasthan, the Dilwara temples are believed to be the most impressive. The five Dilwara temples are among the most famous Jain temples. The Vimal Vasahi is much the earliest, constructed by 1031, with the Luna Vasahi by 1230 and the other at intervals between 1459 and 1582. All are in a very white marble that adds greatly to their effect and remain in use. The oldest and largest too have large amounts of intricate carving even by the standards of the style reaching a peak in the Luna Vasahi temple. The main buildings of the first three named are surrounded by cloister screens of Deva Kulika shrines and are fairly plain on the outer walls of these. In the case of the Vimal Vasahi, this screen was a later addition around the time of the second temple. These three have an access from the sanctuary through a close, then an open mandapa to an open ranga mandapa or larger hall for dance or drama. Surrounding the main temple with a curtain of shrines was to become a distinctive feature of the Jain temples of West India, still employed in some modern temples. In later temples in the Maru Gurjara style, a very pure white marble like that at Dilwara came to be regarded as highly desirable, even essential. In modern times when the style has become popular in other regions of India and with Hindu and Jain communities in other countries, local Rajasthani marble is often carved and transported to the new building. The temples have an opulent entranceway the simplicity in architecture reflecting Jain values such as honesty and frugality, the ornamental detail spreading over the minutely carved ceilings, doorways, pillars and panels is considered to be remarkable. It is said that workmen were paid in gold according to the weight of marble powder scraped off. Facilities are available for bathing, which is mandatory before puja is performed for the idols. These facilities use passive solar power to heat up the water for bathing. So next time you plan a trip to Rajasthan, do visit the beautiful Dilwara temples. Thank you for watching Postcards from Bharat.